so have you created any directives in your project yes okay so uh, when we should means, use uh, a directive so that uh, directives means uh, there are ng4 and ng if that that directive is we are asking yeah so what type of that directive is uh there, there are three types actually directives one is a component that uh, component is also act as a directive mm -hmm. and uh, there are a uh, second type is a structural directive mm -hmm. so in that uh, ng if ng4 are there and ng switch uh, mostly uh use like and uh, another one is uh, attribute directive that is ng class and ng style correct so in uh, structural directives, we can add and remove the DOM elements and uh, in, uh, in uh, like attribute directives like ng class that, that uh, we can change the behavior of the DOM element uh, as per the condition. Dynamically, we can add. Uh, dynamically, we can change the behavior. Okay. So we use for the behavioral directive, we use for a data or for some classes, CSS or kind of classes css classes okay so do you know host binding and host listener yes so what host, is uh, hmm? yes main uh, mainly that that uh, used in uh, when we create custom directive hmm. and uh, when uh, i when i have to bind that element to the uh, means that up our uh, directive so we need host host binding and mm. uh, host listener actually used to list continuously list, listening that uh, event on which is performing on that on the element like uh, it can be button or some or it can be a link okay correct so uh, how we pass the data to your directive so have you passed some data to directive means uh, i want to show two um, types of button okay primary button and secondary button so hmm. you should pass something to your directive so he can realize that what kind of the css i need to apply on this button so have you passed something with somewhere uh, uh, yeah. th there is a uh, inner text that property i think that is fine that is fine no no i am asking about css okay no. yeah so for that we have to pass some flag to directive Okay, so you will check that flag in the directive okay. and depend upon that, you will apply some CSS to your host list, correct? So, uh, yes, yes, we can use the condition also. As yeah, for that but, condition, we can add the class. Correct, but how your directive will know the condition? What, how you pass something to your directive that I'm asking? Okay, so in your project, are you using SCSS or CSS? CSS. CSS? Yes. Okay, and... Uh, uh, why okay so uh, leave for why but what is the scss then actually yeah uh, advanced version that uh, means uh, uh, means very few uh, elements we used for uh, with uh, scss so mm -hmm. I, I didn't told that uh, we used scss very few concepts from uh, scss we used in our project because uh, we mostly use by default scss now we don't use CSS in okay. Angular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So how how we uh, how we handle the memory leaks in Angular? So do you know anything? Memory leaks. Okay. Um, memory leaks problem. Uh, actually, uh, comes because of we uh, uh we un uh, didn't unsubscribe unsubscribe the observables. So. Okay. There, there uh, we always need to be unsubscribe the observable that are means we, which uh, observables are not uh, uh, means self subscribing are not there. Okay. Then. Okay. So do you know async pipe? Yes. So async what pipe. Is, hmm, what is the use of it? Hmm. Uh, async pipe is uh, actually works on observable hmm. that uh, handles the data which. Uh, which comes from the observables that uh, that can be uh, the observables we uh, you know, means uh, which are we uh, applying on the backend data that uh, coming from the backend. So uh, 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 a pipe is uh, uh, means we need not to be subscribed and unsubscribe manually. 
So we can just put a, uh, create the property with mm -hmm. uh, a sync uh, means that and with the name and the data type of that uh, uh, property should be observable. No, but so yeah, so property should be observable, not the type of any. Yes, it should be observable. Then only ah, your yes, async will work with it. Okay. Yes. Correct. Okay. So, what is the difference between pure pipe and impure pipe? Yes. Uh, pure pipe uh, means uh, works only on uh, when when there is a pure change in the input, and uh, impure pipe is said to be. Uh, means on every change the impure pipe will uh, means impure pipe will execute and a sync pipe is uh, basically a most means example of uh, impure pipe okay so uh, by default the uh, by default the we if we create the pipe then it is a pure pipe okay by default it is pure pure pipe so what type of the compilation angular does when you save angular your changes is... hmm? Hmm. so what type so, of compiler we use aot compilation is there and what is the advantage of it uh, means uh, compilation process, uh, as soon as we say we save the we save our files so hmm. uh, it will uh, start compile compilation that uh, JIT compilation also does, correct? Yes, yes. But there are a couple of difference between both. So why they are using the AOT now instead of using the JIT? So huh, yeah, AOT is giving runtime error, errors to us. So it's easy so that. Okay, so it will create a JavaScript bundle files hmm. before it loading to the DOM, okay? So, and in GIT, it goes to the DOM in browser and then it getting passed and load your page. So, ahead of time, it helps us to get the runtime errors at the your uh, bundle file level as well mm -hmm. and in the DOM as well. So, it will help us to save the time as well, uh, loading save, save the time mm -hmm. of the loading as well. I think we have covered a couple of tricky questions. So, if you have any question, then let me know now. Could you please explain how to answer the question? Because many times I forgot to the many of the points that I should explain. I have to explain. Okay. Many so, times. Uh, note down the questions, whatever, every interview, whenever you give an interview, okay? So as soon as your interview gets completed, note down all the questions somewhere. Okay. okay. So this is the common thing I'm telling each and every interviews uh, in the mock interview. Okay. okay, so now I asked 13 or 14 questions related to Angular now. Okay, so you have the 14 okay. questions list now. So okay. you should prepare those as well. And the next interview, two or three should be coming from 13 questions. Okay, so you will yes. be ready for those questions. Okay, so this is the one thing to prepare. Now another thing. So whenever you are trying to give an answer for each question, try to give some practical kind of uh, answer, not the theoretical only. So I told you for okay. the course error. So you mentioned that uh, it is related to backend and something is not matching. So this is fine. So, but in that way, uh, I also realize that, you know, but uh, you are just missing something over there. So that's why I told you google.com local. Host. So you can realize the things as well. So, Try to create such kind of examples, small, small example to tell in the 30, 40 seconds. So it will help you to explain as well. Like the way I told you now, dumb component, smart component. So you can now explain the smart are the smart components. It, we are doing something in that component. Okay. And the dumb components, we are not doing anything. We are just passing data. It is rendering. That's it. So try to do kind of the things. So it will help you to uh, answer as well. And uh, if you are... And one trick uh, I usually prefer to use. So, you know, uh, if you're giving an answer, so you, if you know that uh, while talking about angular.json or something, you know, I have to tell five points. Okay. So, remember five <laughs> points for angular.json and try to remember those five, five points, whatever you have written somewhere. So, yeah. So, in that way, uh, you know that whenever someone asks related to angular.json, 
I have to tell five answers, five five points in this question. So at least you should remember three, four kind of. So this is also helps to remember the things as well by the numbering. And in the chat, I'm pasting the things. Uh, otherwise, uh, let me mail you on this mail only. Uh, I will mail the questions, whatever I ask you here. Uh, okay. Any question, Reshma? Uh, can you tell me uh, many means JavaScript uh, related uh, concepts that I have to prepare first? That, no, uh, see, but before that, go through the that uh, access in his videos. Otherwise, I if I directly okay. tell you, so you will miss those things because those are the core concept of the JavaScript. Those things you should know. Okay. Because he is he has explained in very depth. Okay, so fine. that will help you. But the common questions I have. But uh, once you prepare, let me know so I can ask you those questions. So it is easy to okay, answer fine. as well and explain as well to you. That is not the problem. Okay. Okay. So any other question? do you have now no no fine okay then if you have any question please ping me on instagram as well okay thank you yep. yes okay yes okay then yeah bye. uh thank you thank you yep. so much yes. for the guidance yep yeah no problem yeah thank you bye, -bye. okay bye